welcome back to another vlog today is saturday i just woke up and i opened the blinds and i made myself some coffee and i've been sitting here reading a little bit of my book and also ice rolling my face this feels really really good in the morning time just because i feel like i wake up super puffy and the ice roll really helps with that uh, but I have been sitting here for quite some time and I think I need to go and get up and get ready for the day But I just wanted to start out the video and kind of let you know what I have on my to-do list for today Today was supposed to be an easy day. All I was going to do is film I also ended up receiving a few furniture pieces that I was waiting for a while now So I'm going to also build them and kind of show you guys um, what they look like and what I was thinking as far as like decorating them and how I was going to do them and how I was going to like set them up in my room however yesterday when I went to the gym coming back I was parking my car and there was smoke coming out of my car I'm not kidding smoke coming out of my car I really thought that my car was on fire I mean I think it was like close to being on fire like something in there was boiling or burning so I ended up turning off the car immediately. I called a bunch of my friends. They came over to take a look at it. So for the meantime, the car is parked outside. But that's something that I have to tackle on today. Because I just need to figure out what I need to do to be able to fix the car. I generally just like feel very unsafe driving the car. And the car has been causing me a little bit of major issues lately. Like so many issues. It did fail the emission. I have to fix like something about the engine. But yeah, there's just like so much going on with the car. It's honestly making me feel like I just want to get rid of it and like buy a new car. But the market is really, really bad right now. And all the cars are very, very expensive. So I think I'm just going to try and like figure out what's going on and just try and fix it this time. And till I find like a car that I do really want to buy and something that is a reasonably priced. But I will have to build the furniture. I really want to show you guys all the furniture that I got. I didn't really get that much. I basically got a console table and I also got a really, really nice ornament from ornament, ottoman <laughs> from Target. And I am really excited because I feel like they kind of both are going to tie the room together. Plus I have been waiting on the console table for quite some time because I do have this big mirror over here that I wasn't going to hang until I get the console table. Now that I have the console table, I am going to be able to just put my jewelry, put my perfume, put this mirror up, and it will kind of like pull the room together. I feel like I have been in a limbo for quite some time. I feel like the last time I filmed anything about my room was like a while ago. I have been traveling and just going to a bunch of different places and I'm still going to keep traveling this summer. If you guys don't know or if you're new to my channel, my resolution for this year was to travel as much as possible. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job at it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to be going away for a whole month to Europe in actually two weeks. So yeah, I do want to like get the room together as much as possible just because I feel like I've been going away for so long that my room, I have been living here for two months ish and i feel like although i've been here for two months i feel like i still haven't finished a room but yeah so today we will get a little closer and we'll be able to finish a little bit of the room so i just wanted to show you guys and kind of give you a sneak peek of what the decorations and all the furniture looks like and now with this whole car thing i will also take you guys along with me i ended up snipping a video yesterday when the smoke was coming out of the car so I will insert it here somewhere if you guys are just curious. But yeah, this is how it was smoking and honestly it made me so scared. I felt like the car was gonna 
blow up. I was also parked in a residential area and there were a lot of cars and a lot of houses around me. So I was so scared that if the car blew up, then it was just not going to be a good situation. But I'm really glad nothing bad happened. I just need to like take care of it today and like figure it out. So yeah, I basically have a very long day, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I just got ready. I ended up just doing this quick light makeup. It looks like a lot on camera, but I literally barely have okay. Let me silent my phone because it is going nuts. I just got ready. I did this like light makeup. I did my hair this morning when I woke up. So I just left it as it is. I used the Dyson to curl it, just in case if you guys were curious. I have cut my bangs. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I did end up cutting my bangs like very, very short and I really like them. However, they sometimes are annoying and today is just not the day for it. So I ended up putting it up like that. I don't know if that's cute or not. I feel like it is cuter in person than it is on camera. So I don't know. But yeah, I ended up putting on a very quick outfit to show you. So I have on this crop top. I got this from Depop. I honestly don't really know what brand this is. But yeah, I got it from a girl on Depop. Very easy. I feel like it gives me like Brandy Melville vibe, which I love. And then I also paired it with these cargo pants from Aritzia. I think they do run a little bit on the larger side. But when I got them, I got them in a US 4. And I'm normally like a US 6, so they were a little bit too tight on me when I first got them. And then now they're kind of like loose and they are like fitting me very loosely. So I'm really, really proud of myself. I have been really sticking to healthy lifestyle. I've been working out a lot. It just has been like my thing to do is to take care of myself, to take care of my body and like to definitely nourish it and I know it's not about just the look and the aesthetic of it but to be honest every single time I put on a piece of clothing that used to fit me like very tightly and I put it on and it, it fits me like really nicely I feel like that kind of gives me a little bit of hope and it definitely makes me very proud of myself so yeah just wanted to give you that little nudge of information if you are going through some sort of lifestyle change or you really want to focus on yourself, you want to focus on your body, this is your sign that it is definitely possible, you can definitely do it. I was definitely the most unhealthiest person ever, and I feel like just getting my mentality and like getting my mental health in check and also like working on my life a lot and be very intentional with it is paying off, and it doesn't really pay off right away. Like, I've been putting in the work for years now, and I'm just seeing the results. So please let this be your sign. Don't ever give up on yourself. If you feel like you've been putting effort into yourself in any aspect of your life for the past, like, couple months, and you feel like you've been doing it for a while and you're not really seeing any results, please keep on going because you will see it. It took me years. It took me, I have been on my health journey for two years and a half now, like all these people that tell you on the internet, oh, they lost weight or like they kind of got their lifestyle change in a couple months, they're lying to you. Please do not listen to them. It took me two years and a half to finally, finally get the results that I wanted to see. So if I had given up like a couple months in, I wouldn't have gotten to the point where I'm at right now and I'm really, really happy. Yeah, I feel like I'm just rambling right now and I have a lot to do, but... I also ended up buying a few things from Sephora. I actually bought these really, really long time ago, and they've just been sitting in a bag in my closet. So I really wanted to show you guys what I got. Could be a little bit exciting. I know I have done like dedicated YouTube videos for beauty before. Like I used to do like Sephora hauls and Ulta hauls, and these videos really never do well. I feel like you guys just don't like them. So if you do like them and you want me to make a dedicated video, please let me know. But for now, I think I'm just going to like throw them in vlogs. So yeah, so I'm just going to show you really quick what I got. The first thing that I got is this Necessaire Body Ritual set. I've been seeing Necessaire products every single place I've been going to and I've never really gotten the chance to try them. And I have a YouTuber here that I absolutely love if you guys know her. Her name is... On YouTube is baby hey her name is Haley 
but she goes by baby hey she's like my favorite youtuber and i feel like i've like a lot of my style like i think she has this jogger but a lot of my style i kind of like take inspiration from her but she loves this product and i've never got to try it so i wanted to give it a try and i'm really really excited i've just really been into anything that makes my body soft smell great so i'm really excited to try these i also needed an eyebrow pencil so i ended up getting this one from too faced this is the pomade in a pencil brow shaper and filler pencil if you guys are new to my channel i love summer fridays their stuff is so good especially their lip butter bombs and they come out with this color it's the pink sugar one and i really like anything pink i feel like this is going to be very nice for like the summertime to touch up your I don't know your lipstick so instead of having to carry a lipstick you could just carry a balm and it also gives you a little bit of a tint i also ended up getting this brazilian crush 68 film sol de janeiro i really love their smells i feel like this is kind of like what i would put on every single day like if i'm not really going anywhere and i don't want to use my expensive perfumes i'll definitely spray some of these and they smell so good i have the original scent but i wanted to try the pink one because i feel like the pink one smells closely to Baccarat Rouge for Baccarat Rouge 540 if you guys never smell it I think this smells close to that so yeah I just ended up picking this one up and staying on this whole like perfume theme I ended up also picking up this Kiali Eden Juicy Apple Perfume I've seen this brand everywhere I think this is owned by God, I can't remember her name, but she has a makeup brand too. I can't remember her name. I'll I'll put it on the screen somewhere, but she has her own brand for makeup. And I guess like she made like a separate make like company for perfumes. And a lot of people like rave about the perfumes. And I ended up going to the store and I smelled a few perfumes. And this is the one that literally stood out to me. It's the juicy apple one. It smells so 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 good. So I just wanted to get this. This will be more like an everyday scent for me. So I'm really excited to use it. And if you guys don't know, I actually just turned 28 two months ago. Well, I didn't just turn 28, but I turned 28 22 months ago. Those two months like went by so quick, but um, I freaked out about <laughs> turning 28. I know that sounds so silly, but I'm like now trying to buy every single rental that's ever existing on market just because I do not want to get any wrinkles or fine lines. So I ended up picking this one up from Paula's Choice. This is the 1% retinol treatment. It comes with a peptide as well as vitamin C. So I heard really good things about it. So I wanted to add this to my routine. I bought a like, bunch of retinols and vitamin Cs and stuff like that. If you guys want another video on that, I can definitely make one. I feel like I have been trying so many different products. And I definitely have like some sort of opinions about them. And when I was going through the checkout, um, the checkout line always gets you because they always have like those like tiny products. So I ended up picking this day shampoo and conditioner. I just got like the mini size. I've never really tried this brand. And I thought this like mini set could help me try it and see if I like it or not. So I ended up picking these up. There's definitely mixed reviews on these online. Some people love them, some people hate them. So I'm really, really interested to see if I'm gonna like them because I feel like with my hair, I like use so much heat on it. And if the product is not good, I will definitely be able to tell. I also ended up picking this Dr. Dennis Gross Universal Daily Peel. This is the Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. I think these are very, very, very popular. Hey. Hey. So, if you put in coolant last month... I My brother just called me. I think he's going to try and come help me with this whole car situation. But going back to the Sephora haul, I ended up picking these Universal Peels. I've seen them everywhere. They're so, so, so freaking expensive. Like, I think the little tiny one was $20. Like, this was $20. But I heard really, really good um, things about these. So, I'm really excited to try them. I don't even know how to use them. Like, do you just, like wipe them on your face and like that's it or do you put them on your face i don't know i'll have to like figure out how to use these but this is like my first time trying anything from dr dennis i know this brand also has like um like a uv face mask thing that you put on your face and it gives you like different treatments i really really want to get one of those so if you guys have any 
idea or if you guys tried any of these masks and you have recommendations i definitely appreciate it so definitely put them in the comments down below and i would love to try them i also ended up picking the sol de janeiro hair leave-in conditioner thing for the hair i just love the smell of these so leave-in conditioner for your hair are you kidding me like this is amazing because make your hair smell so 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 good this smells just like the original scent that they have so if you love the original scent they have stuff for hair too so definitely try them i also ended up picking this brujo 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 i really don't know how to say that name but this is the don't despair repair deep conditioning mask again just like a mini one just to kind of try it i've never really tried this brand i also ended up getting this one size on till dawn setting spray a lot of people on tiktok are literally spraying this on and then like dunking their whole face in water and apparently it doesn't transfer at all so if this works this will be such a life-changing product because summertime you can't mess with transfer it literally melts everywhere so this will be such a good product to use oh and then i also ended up getting this urban decay moon dust sparkly eyeshadow if you guys saw my birthday vlog in miami i ended up using this eyeshadow from my friend she had it and she told me to use it i used it and it was gorgeous like absolutely stunning i had to get my own i also ended up getting this glow recipe watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer I love this. I ended up getting this as a birthday gift from Sephora. Loved it. Ended up going back and picking it up in a full size. Like now I understand the hype about this product. It's honestly so good. I don't know what it does. Like the packaging itself makes it look like it's not that good of a product. I don't know. It gives me like this whole like childish look. I don't know. But the product itself is really, really good. And also from Grillo Recipe, I ended up getting this watermelon glow and niacinamide dew drops wait sorry this is not what i wanted okay so this is what i got in my birthday gift the the one that went really viral the niacinamide dew drops this is the one that i got loved it had to buy it in a bigger size and then i ended up seeing the moisturizer version and i ended up picking the moisturizer version but yeah i think this is everything that i got i ended up spending way too much money so hope you guys enjoyed it <laughs> but i am going to start working on this big shenanigan i have my console table here at the bottom and then this is the ottoman that i got from target so i'm gonna open the boxes and show you everything that i got i will have to build this guy which i'm really really not excited about um but i'm really really excited about building it and it being finished and finally have a console table in my room because i need to put my jewelry and my perfume on some sort of table and so far they have been on my nightstand which is really like very not convenient because my nightstand is so so small so yeah i'm just really excited for the console table
single detail about this table is just stunning. I love it. I think the finish of it is really nice. I really like how it has all of this texture. I just feel like it kind of adds like something something to the table. I feel like the black just kind of ties the whole room together. So I am like absolutely obsessed with this and it was super easy to put together. It kind of took me like 10 minutes to put it together. It's not that bad at all. And I feel like it kind of just fills up the space really, really nicely. I am just excited to use it and put a lot of stuff on top of it. The only thing is when I was putting it together, I noticed that this corner looked a little bit funky. I think this might be like damaged. However, you can't really like tell from far away. Plus the texture all over the table kind of just kind of makes this in together with the texture of the table. So I'm like not too mad about it, but I may reach out to them and like see if I can like get this replaced or something. But this table took like a month to get here. So I feel like if I reach out to them for a replacement, it's probably going to take like another month, which I don't know if I have time for that. So I think I'm just going to roll with it. It doesn't really look that bad. But I do want to mount the mirror and then I want to put the picture that I got from New York in the frame that I got from Ikea and just kind of like set this up a little bit and make it look a little cuter. just finished decorating it a little bit I honestly don't really think this is how I want it to look like like I want the mirror and the frame to be the way they are but I do have a lot of like coffee books like Chanel books and like um, other books that I feel like I need to decorate with I also don't really like the whole jewelry situation so I need to like figure that out but I really really like the um, pampas grass I feel like that kind of gives it a little something something to the table and it kind of breaks the black a little bit but i'm like obsessed with it this is so 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 cute i am so happy with how it turned out it is such a good table i am really really happy that i picked this one up i will have it linked down below if you guys are interested it is a little bit on the pricey side but I feel like this is such a good table. You could use it in your bedroom, how I have it here, or you could also do it like in your living room. I feel like this is just a really, really good table. I also want to open this ottoman from Target and put it underneath the table. This is the ottoman that I ended up picking up from Target. There are a few ones that Target has that I really liked a lot, but the reason why I picked this one up because it has this like black detailing with the wood and the black kind of matches back to the table. 
but there's also brown in these light fixtures that I got. So I felt like the ottoman kind of like tied back everything together. I was thinking to put the ottoman underneath the table, but I'm not sure if I really like it on the side of it or underneath it. I'm gonna try and move it and see if I end up liking it underneath it. I feel like this also looks really cute, but I'm not sure. I think the reason why I wanted it to be on the side because I do want to fill the space up, but I'm also going to get some floor lamps to kind of fill the space up, but I don't know. You guys let me know if you like the ottoman beneath the table or right beside it. I think this is everything that I'm going to do as far as like decorating and furniture for today just because I'm so tired and I also need to go figure out this whole car situation, but I'm really, really happy with how everything turned out. I think both pieces are so cute and definitely staple pieces that I know I'm gonna have for a very, very long time. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? To get it to heat up. It also wouldn't read the temperature unless you heat it up. So I filled up the coolant in some lab. The, was the little meter thing at the middle? No, it was, it was cold. Oh. That's why I gotta heat it up. If that wasn't running, why would it be hot? Was this hot? No. It, 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 we kept hearing noises yesterday from it. It almost sounded like it was boiling. I mean, yeah, that's why it got flooded out. What happened is, when it got hot, it boils. You didn't have enough cooling. But is there a leak? Because it, there's something like on the ground underneath the car. So. I filled up the coolant, and you can see it's leaking, but it is going down. It's gonna keep going down. But what you can do is you can keep this with you and keep filling it up as you go. No, I'm not doing that. But I'm you can drop take it to someone. There's someone nearby here. Can I drop up to it now? There is a far stone. Yeah, that's place. what I went to it right now. I can take you to it. That's where March place used to live. We can take it now, so I can bring you back. Yeah, that's fine. You're gonna drive your car, right? Uh, no, whatever. You can drive this. You can drive. No, I'm gonna drive mine. You drive yours. And I'll see you there. Okay, where where did you park? Is okay. this this one? Yeah. Oh, nice. Do you want to drive it? No. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. See it. I'll drive you. So in case you think it's hot. We just dropped the car off and they are going to take a look at it and let us know what needs to be fixed. But I'm back home now and I'm very hungry and also slightly overwhelmed. So I think I'm gonna make some breakfast technically because it's not really breakfast it's more of like lunch because it's like almost four o'clock but i need something to eat it has been a few hours now since i first updated you i honestly have just been sitting on the couch and relaxing for a little bit i do need to get a pedicure like really really bad so i think i'm gonna go to a nail salon that's nearby and get a quick pedicure so yeah i think i'm gonna head there very very soon and since i don't have a car i'm just gonna walk but it's only half a mile away so it's not that bad and it's very nice outside so it'll be a nice walk